Uh, my name is George Nikashwama, uh, actually uh, chairman of the Congolese community. Uh, this community started in 2006. Uh, in the beginning, we struggled a bit <coughs> to direct the community. But later on, 2008, where we will meet more with the future uh, action in uh, this project, help us to you know to set up the community. Actually, our aim is to build a strong communi uh, Congolese community in Leicester. I'm Mo Odifa, the Organizational Development Officer here at Refugee Action. Um, I've arranged various training um, for the group um, to help build their capacity to run the group properly as it should. Um, the management committee is very functional. It's one of the few groups where I have met every member of the management committee. There are still some groups where I just meet one or two people on a constant basis, but with this group, I've met the chair, I've met the treasurer, I've met the secretary, and two other members of the management group, which is quite pleasing. We are a French speakers in the first place, and uh, uh, <coughs> the kids born here, they are English speakers in the first place. And you got a uh, communication conflict between kids and mom, it very much because uh, mom sometimes try to pass the message to the kids, but it can fully pass it as a message uh, because uh, in first place, the first language is French, not English. The same, the same, the same way as well with the kids to the mom. And uh, this is uh, some of the difficulty we got, some of the problems we said ourselves. We need to bring our people to raise the awareness to integrate people, fit, people to be more integrated to the system, to understand the system are you way, to learn more English, to get more skills, more knowledge, and uh, that's the way we're going to build our community. Funding is always a big issue. It's always a major, major issue with any of the groups in, in any of the areas. They, in particular, have received funding before. They've managed to fund twice, I think from when there were the old group before the new group and when the new group also just managed to come funding the got them reporting um, to the funders um, very well. So they've been able to show transparency and where they needed support, they were very, very quick at asking for it, particularly when they were doing their reporting to the funders. I helped support them with, with that because one or two things came back from the funders. And it was a big learning curve for them, but we got over that and they did their reporting um, quite well. My name is Jenny Kashade. I'm a member of uh, Congolese Group. My role in this group is to bring all women together because uh, we noticed the uh, Congolese women, they've got a lot of big issues, big barriers with, uh, with speak French and we are not so confident. That's why we, we like to stay at home, watching TV, <laughs> watching program in French. And when George um, approached me about this group, he asked me if I want to, to do this job. I said yes, I will try. I will try to, to do it. And now I think I will try to, to get in touch with Congolese women talk about the group and show them that they can approach the group without uh, fear, without uh, doubt. The, uh, another big issue that is a bit of a, a barrier for them is an issue of having an um, allocation, an office that they can call their own, where they can have their calls, their meetings and meet with their community members. Sometimes uh, it, it's infringing on the chair's privacy when people have to go to his, his house. We're working on um, linking them up with an established group. Um, it's, it's, it's called Manor Resource Center. It's a social enterprise here in Leicester. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get space um, for Manor Resource Center where at least they can meet if he needs to meet with members of his um, um, community group. I think the first step is there's a lot of information and um, dissemination that goes on within the group. People call the chair, the secretary, and they want to find out what is going on. So starting an information advice service is one of the first things they want to do. And once we get that location, then they'll be able to, they'll be able to do that. And it will, it will build their confidence and boost their morale that they have a, an office you know, of their own where they can 
maybe have like a surgery two three times a week and meet with community members. We like to have a, a premises where the woman can meet together once a week or twice a week, it depends. We can talk about every anything, yes, yeah, from country, culture, English, uh, England. We can talk about everything, yes. Yeah. The beginning, I was a little bit, uh, where we struggled before, I was a little bit uh, said on the matter. Because that time I used to myself just to volunteer myself for the community. But then later on I become more optimistic. That's why when, when uh, we did our uh, democratic election, uh, I decided myself to, to vote for the chairman and to take action. I'm a little bit optimistic about it. I think uh, if I look now the future, I think in the future uh, in this country is more about the community. My name is Alexi. Um, my role in the community is uh, to communicate people if we've got a problem. For example, uh, someone passed away, died here or in Africa. And my role is to communicate, send a message to our members. And also, I help about uh, the collection of uh, the money. If you've got a contribution, uh, I help uh, to collect the money and uh, give to the one who's doing this job. It's my role in my community. Slowly, we are. Uh, trying to be together and last year we did ele election we've got now the group and uh, we trust we we are confident and um, that this group will work and everybody is now um, confident about this group and I always tell groups sustainability is not so much about money Sometimes it's about being focused and using what you have around you to achieve what you want to. And they've agreed with that. So sometimes we need to shift the focus away from the funding. Funding comes in different forms. It, it, I've, I've taught them about what funding in kind is. And that is the cheapest type of funding you can ever get if you get funding in kind. And they've come to realize that. And, and so we're working towards that. If we can get space in the library or with this um, social enterprise, then. Um, it's a very big step for them and, and they will march on very well. I've been here in the UK for uh, five years. I came in 2004 and I've been granted um, leave to remain last year in September. My kids have all three kids, 16, 14, and six years. And uh, I can say I become more confident when I start to work here in refugee action and I want to to learn more in this country. I want to to succeed my life in this country. I like how to have a voice in city council because I notice the only flags are in Somalia, Punjabi, but we don't have in French. And my desire is to do it too, just to have a voice in city council, ask them to produce leaflets in French too. I want to do it, and I think I will achieve it.